So you're gonna let Vashti push you off your position or you're gonna get your position. Go up. Good job. So y'all see I'm doing I'm I'm filming this guys. This is coordination and got way better already. You know what I mean? He um you know what I mean? We don't play basketball that often, but now I'm just I just be showing him the footwork and showing him coordination and development and like and just try to get things to register in his own mind. You know what I mean? Cause you know how it is. A lot of little kids are kind of clumsy and things like that sometimes when we're younger. And so it's all about developing coordination. So I like showing stuff like this to see his coordination. Cause you should have seen his coordination even just a week ago. You know what I mean? Get up there. All right. Like you see the core and like you just, when you chronicling these things, you see the coordination issues or whatever, or just where the coordination is at this particular point. And then you just monitor it, and I just like showing little things like because lot. This is how a lot of our children, I mean, children learn with us, and as far as coordination and rhythm and learning certain things. It's not necessarily. It's not about this game of basketball per se. It's this. It's just we are active when we learn a lot of times, and it's good to see the development. There you go. Good job. Because just like a week ago, he would um, you know, he didn't understand the concept of his feet and getting his feet together. He, he has naturally good footwork, but he didn't think of it in terms of like, it's all the same, boxing, footwork, basketball, football, a lot of the movements are the same. And now he's starting to get it in his mind and think of it, you know what I mean? How it correlates and see how a lot of this stuff, you already know how to do it when you start thinking of it the right way. All right, back up. Are you close to it? So remember when you get it, you know what I mean? Whether you farther away from the basket determines whether you have to dribble or whether you could just take catch it and take two steps and, and, and explode up. All right. So you might come back. So come back, right? And you got to gauge it. Come back, move your feet. So you're moving slow right now. So just go ahead, be on your toes just like any other time. Being on your toes and moving back and forth. Getting position. Are you ready? See that? So you gotta be ready. You gotta be on your toes. Moving too slow, like your feet moving too slow. There you go. Be active. Be active. Like you moving around. Getting ready for it. You don't, cause wherever I'm gonna throw it at, you don't know where I'm gonna throw it at. All right. Come on out. Come on out and follow the ball. Follow the ball. So you can go and look, catch it in a couple steps and go. Good job. Not bad. See if you can get up there and dunk it though. So look. All right, come on, all right, follow the ball. You took too many steps, see, that would have been a travel. If you was playing real basketball, that would have been a travel. Get your feet, so you gotta work on, he gotta work on getting his feet right and getting his steps right. It's all about coordination. You gotta, the ball going over there, cause you know I'm about to throw it over here, so you gotta go to the ball and you gotta use momentum. Good, good job, good layup. Way to get catch the ball, get yourself together, and good layup. That takes coordination. Good job. Ah, see, I mean that ball, but we know that ball flat. But still, you shouldn't have, you should have been able to take one dribble and, and get it and get, gather it and go up. That's a travel. Nope. See, that's a travel. Move it, Sonny. Move. Coordination. Good job. See if you can get up there and dunk it, man. Coordination. Come on. Good job. Not bad. Good body position. And like we said, I know it's a little harder when you got this type of rims when you got to worry about coming down on that thing. So, but that's all makes it the better because if you play regular basketball, you don't have to worry about that like at a gym. Get up there, slow it up. Let me see some two foot jumps. Let me see if you can get get that part done, that coordination. Jumping off two feet. Not bad, that was off one foot. And you are, you are getting way better with that. See if you can catch it and go off two feet. All right. Okay. See if you can catch it off two feet. Nope, that's one foot. Now you're getting used to jumping off one foot, which is good. But now, let's see if you can do two feet. Drop step. There you go. Good job. All right. Drop step. Up. 
Nice. Slow it up. Come on. Get up there and dunk it. Drop step. Two feet. Good job. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drop step. Get up there. Slow. Good job. Drop step. Up. Good job. Give me two more like that. See if you get get up. Slow more. Good job. Not bad. You're getting the concept. You're getting the idea. You're getting the coordination, man. You gotta catch that. That's part of coordination. That's what I'm saying. Hand eye coordination. You gotta develop. Come on. This ain't got nothing to do with sports. This is brain development, period. Coordination, period. You learn these things through sports and develop and stimulate these things through sports. Good job. Nice. Drop step, explode up. Get up there. Ah. Drop step, explode up. Ah. Come on. You see it explode up. Jump vertical. Back up a little bit. Drop step. Explode up there. Nice. Ah, almost. I mean, that's good. It's good. All them, we're just looking for the coordination, but try to explode too. Work on strength and explosion. Good job. Get up there and try to grab the rim. Try to dunk it. Grab the rim. Drop step. All right, you got to catch the ball. Coordination, hand-eye coordination. And response time. Got to work on response time, speed, coordination. Good job. Drop step, up, explode. Good job. Bonnie. You want to defend him one time while he drop stepping? Get behind him one time and get him off the block, boo. No, and behind him, behind him one time. Get him off the block. He's going to drop step on you. Get him off. Try, you try to push him off. All right, get your arm up. Defense. Drop step. Oh, you got to catch the ball. Coordination. See, that's that kid, little kid. See, this this, 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 this what I be, I'm trying to explain to him, too, is that, see, like, it's a... There's plenty of kids and people who started off playing basketball right and this how that's how clumsy some people can be clumsy we all could be clumsy when we younger and and the point is it's about coordination you could develop coordination i was telling him how it's it's easy to be clumsy when you're younger and your brain is developing and you're developing your coordination and things but you have the ability to be athletic and as your brain develops these things get easier all right All right, so that's good. This is good. This is good. These are good examples right here. All right, come on, Bonnie. Defense on. Drop step and try to dunk it on. Good job. Not bad. <laughs> push him out of there, Bonnie. Push him out of there. And you don't let her push you out. You try to get your position. Push it. Push it back. Get your position. Drop step. Get it. Up. Good job. Nice. 